working. Hello everyone, happy Friday, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, hope everything is okay, hope everybody is doing really well. So, hope everybody can see me and hear me okay. Um, I'll just see if anybody jumps on the stream. And that is actually quite a big lag um, between what I can see on my screen and what's I'm streaming um, oh it's catching up now catching up now it's about 10 second lag so yeah you'll see today I'm going to carry on with this picture. Um, you'll see that I did carry on with her hair and the macaroons off the stream. And I realised I didn't do a pink macaroon with you all. So I'm going to finish that off um, t today with you all. And then we're going to finish off her face. I've got to do her eyes and her mouth, obviously, and her bow, and we'll put a bit of colour down the bottom there for, for her t-shirt as well. So, what I'll do, I've got all my pencils here next to me, I'm still using Prismas, um, so, yep, yeah, so without further ado, we shall get on. I'll just zoom you in there and we'll get up and we'll do we'll do the pink the pink macaroon so for that I have got lots of pencils so for the pink I have got I've got my list here I've got hot pink Process red, pomegranate, and where am I? I've got violet. So I've got those four for the main body of the the macaroon. And I've already covered it with a light layer of hot pink. And I started shading with the process red. So we'll go in and put some shading in the darkest areas here. Again, just a very light touch. And then from there, I'll go in with pomegranate, PC195. Sorry, I'm wobbling the camera there. And just deepen up, just deepen up these shadows. So 
so hopefully I should we should be able to get this image finished today uh, with a bit of luck if I'm not too slow but we shall see and then we'll blend it all in with the hot pink PC993 and again keeping it fairly light towards the, the middle there because that's where you want the highlight to go Blending all that together. Yeah, and I haven't decided what I'm going to do about these little bubbly kind of things here, um, whether to do them with a white Posca or do it with a silver gel pen, um, just to add a bit of extra sparkle. I'll colour these spongy bits in with the hot pink as well. Going in with the hot pink until you're happy with the blend, and then we'll go in again with the process red PC994 and just dot little bits of dark on the sponge just for a little bit of texture. It's just, it's not very, it's very random. And then the same with the pomegranate PC195. Again, just dotting little random, random bits of shadows. There we go, and then we'll go in now with a bit of Violet PC932, just to deepen, again just to deepen, and deepen in the shadows. find this blends in quite well with these pinks. And again just add a little bit of the, pur the violet into this spongy section just to deepen it up a little bit more. And then again, in with the hot pink, just to give it another little blend out. And again, fairly light over here, we're leaving the highlight. So that's the pink macaron done and um, now for the filling and for that I have got beige PC997 
I have got chocolate, chocolate, PC, PC1082, and I think that's dark brown, PC946. You can see all these pencils have been very well used again. And this is the Diox Purple Hue, um, which is PC132. So, first of all, we'll go in with the beige PC997 and just cover the whole area with the beige. I don't think that's showing up very well on the camera, but and th then we'll go in with the chocolate PC ten eighty two and start shading these darker bits. And like I say, go in and do a wiggly line as well for the cream. So it looks as though the cream's overflowing out of the out of the macaron or macaroon. And then we'll go in with the dark brown PC nine four six If there's anybody watching can can you see and hear everything okay? Can you please let me know in the chat? So And then after that, I'll go in with the Diox Purple Hue. I'll just go around here, just get this deepened up here. And then I'll need to go in with a bit of black, I think. need to find my black. There it is. So I've got black PC935. I'll just go in with a teeny bit of black. Just deepen. Just deepen that up there. And again, I'll do... I'll get the deeper... I'll get the no, I'll get the beige and I'll go over, I'll blend this in and go over it with the beige. dark in here for a bit more contrast. Okay. And then I 
result. Call that done. Um, and then we'll go in with the my Posca and pop some highlights and things in there. So let's make sure this is working. Yeah. And again, I don't want this highlight to be very prominent, but I do want it to be there. So what I did, obviously put the Posca on and then just get a, just get a cotton bud and just pop it on there. And we'll get a little a little bit more on there I think if we're blending it in and then we'll pop a bit over here on the cream Again, we'll just we'll slightly blend this one in, but not as much. So it's still leaving a bit of a bit of highlight there. So there we go. So there's the macaroons finished. So now I think we shall do her face um, I'm really not sure I was thinking um, green eyes a green well a green eye um, but I'm not sure now um, as long as I've got that green that green macaroon there so it might be a bit much um, oh, we'll go for it though. We'll go for it. We'll go for a green eye. So, I'm probably going to use some of the greens that I used for the macaroon just to keep the palette kind of the same. Well, not the same, but similar. Um, so, I think I will go for the I'll put some yellow some no I'll put some chartreuse in some spring green and some Prussian green I think we'll use those three and see how we go with that so so yeah we'll just we'll get her eye done um, so just let me sharpen my pencils So we will go in first with the Chartreuse PC989. I'm just going round here. Oh, that looks so bright. <laughs> I'll have to tone that down a little bit, I think. Um, so then spring green PC 913 just going in the darker bits just deepening that up and there goes my tip of my pencil Uh, 
and then we shall go in with the Prussian PC109. Now this eye is quite tiny so there's not really much scope for doing anything fancy with it so I'm just basically following the lines that Rena oh here's another tip gone that Rena has put there so I hope you can see that okay just going round there with the Prussian and obviously she's put little marks there in the iris so I'm just following those just going round the pupil with the Prussian and then I will just put a little bit more of the chartreuse there just to brighten that up a little bit and that's her iris done so what I'll do as well I'll pop a wee bit of the nectar I think on her on the waterline there and in the And I shall get, oh, what have I got? I've got a bit of grey lavender, so I'll just pop a wee bit of in there for a eye there. And I'll blend that in. Oh, I've got the white, oh no, I've got the buffy. I've got the buff titanium, so I'll just, just give a wee... We blend out with that. So that's her eye done, I would say. Um, probably just pop a wee. Just make these lashes a teeny bit more defined. I think not printed very well it's kind of more grey than black I'll just try and make them a bit more a bit more defined Sorry, I'm concentrating. I go quiet when I'm concentrating. Because to me, that the eyes are the... I don't want to mess the eyes up. <laughs> a quite important part of the, the image. So, and then I'll kind of make this one a little bit more and go over these lashes and obviously with the black pencil and you make these a little bit more defined as well There we go, beautiful eyes. So I'm not sure what whether to do her eyebrows in the purple or just do them very dark brown. Right, I'll leave that just for now. I'll ponder that. <laughs> I'll ponder that shortly. Um so her lips, I was thinking kind of similar colours to her hair again. So, which would be, oh, just let me get 
there. Except we could just we just do it purple. Yeah, I'll give her purple lipstick. I think rather than rather than any pinks. So we'll do it. We'll give her violet. What have we got? Diox purple hue. And we shall pop what have I got? Black grape. I should have dark purple out as well. And dark purple. Yeah, so we've got dark purple PC931. And we have got black grape PC996. Got Deox purple hue 132 and violet 932. So I think the lightest shade on that lot would be the violet so I'll just go over her lips with the violet so violet PC932 Give it a very light coating with the violet. And then I'll go in with the diox purple hue, just a little bit of shade in. So, it's the end of the week again. How has everybody's week been? We've had a good, we had a good week, and bad week. Oh, mine's not been that great, to be honest. Um, I've still been feeling really grotty um, after having my second COVID vaccination. Um, last Friday, um, so, and then I've done nothing but break things all week, so, and then we've got dark purple PC931, I'm just deepening up.
keeping it up around here. Just want to leave some sort of highlight in her. No, let's, I don't know, I've been playing about with colours for the tongue as well. Um, it's the first time I've ever done a tongue. Um, I'm not sure if I've got the right combo, but I'm going to give it a shot. I've got to give it a good shot. And then, like I say, I'm going to have to decide what to do with these kind of funny little bits, whether to do them whether to keep them so do them white or leave them make them silver I don't know PC932 again in with the violet again again just a very light very lightly with the violet just to blend those darker colours together Obviously finish a lip off but also leave leave the bit of a highlight. And again, could always go in with the with the Posca and just pop in a pop a few highlights in. And again, oh, I can find find my cotton bud. I really should keep things out when I'm needing them. I just give it a smooch. Smoosh, smoosh it in. So the highlight's there, but it's not. You can see it, but it's not too, not too harsh. And I'll do the same with the. I'll do the same with the bottom here as well. We highlight in there. And again, just smoosh it away so it's there, but it's not, it's not very harsh. So I think that will be her lips done. So we're getting there slowly, but we're getting there. So now tackling this tongue so I was I think nectar was going to be my darkest colour so I'm just gonna start here with the nectar in the darker areas And then, what other colours do I have out here? <laughs> but, but, oh, seriously, too many pencils here. <laughs> oh, that, look at my little dink. Look, my little dink has got even dinkier. That was uh, the light peach 927. That was a light peach PC 927. No way I can sharpen them anymore. Um unfortunately so I think he's going to have to retire um so yeah unfortunately but 
he has got someone, a new one to take over his position, so he's fine. Um, yeah, so we've got him with nectar. So, and then it was, it was light peach, wasn't it? I did a light, did light peach. Oh, gosh, is that even tiny? He's not even, he's not even staying in my extender very well. So we'll just do a light, layer a light peach. And then I've got, so I've got blush. Blush pink, 928. Again, just a very light layer. Then I think I shall go back in with go back in with the nectar PC ten ninety two just deepen up deepen up the shadowed areas a little bit more. And then finally, I have got, this is a brand new pencil, I've never used it before, so I have got Salmon Pink PC1001, I'm just going to give it a very light tickling with this Salmon Pink, and then hopefully that looks like a tongue. I'll go back in with the nectar again just to deepen up a little bit more just ruined all that there and again Pop a wee bit of Posca. Just for a bit of highlight there. And if I can find, I should really lift that cotton bud out. Give it a give it a smoosh again. Again, so the highlights there, but it's not not harsh. So there we go. So I think that's and that's her face all done. Um oh, I've got her earrings to do. I think for that I will get a gold gel pen. Um, 
find one. I've got one in here somewhere. But there we go. I have got got a uniball out of focus. I've got the uniball signal sparkling sparkling gold. So we'll just get these earrings done. And we'll just yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's got shiny earrings now. And then we shall do We'll do the bow. We'll do her bow, I think. So, we'll bring you... Oh, sorry if I'm making anybody feel sick. Then we'll just do her bow. And I was thinking of doing a bow again. Um, just trying to keep to a limited palette. Um, I was going to do a bow blue um, with the green green spots so the blue would be the same as the, the macarons again so the colours for those if I can find the sheet oh, there we go so we have got all the blues with a bit of violet thrown in I think there was Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, we've got, just let me, I should really have sharpened these before I started. Oh, and I've already been on for 45 minutes nearly. Oh, <laughs> And I don't think anybody's around today because nobody's speaking to me. <laughs> Says I've got one viewer, so hello viewer, um, whoever you are, wherever you're viewing in the world. I hope everything's okay with you. Um, so for this I have got... Let's see, we have got electric blue... PC 1040, Light Cerulean Blue, PC 904 and True Blue, PC 903. So what I'll do, I will go down with a layer of the electric blue first. I think that's the lightest colour. Um, Yeah, I'll actually go down with the electric blue first. That's the lightest colour. So, I have got electric blue PC 1040. So, I'm going to have to turn my page, so I do apologise. So, hopefully I'll keep you in shot. So, I'm going to just put a light layer of this all over obviously excluding any spotty bits I think that'll be like the folds in the bow get her finished today so 
I think I will. I don't know how long I'm going to stay on, on stream for. Um, doesn't look as though anybody's around. I'm just streaming to myself. <laughs> I'm quite happy doing it, I suppose. Um, it doesn't do any harm, does it? Um, and I did put a, a notification on um, the, to say I was streaming today. Um, obviously, I was planning on streaming... Friday's my day off um, from work, so I was planning on doing a regular live stream at this time on a Friday morning, um, but it really doesn't look as though it's going to be very popular, a popular slot. Um, I think I had one, I don't know how many viewers last week. Um, I mean, not that I'm doing it for, for the amount of viewers or the popularity or anything like that. It's just, you know, I like to share what I'm doing with people and I like to have a chat. And you lot in the colouring community are the only people that I can speak to about my colouring because nobody else in my family really appreciates it. Um, so I do like having a wee chat. I'm sorry to be on a wee downer here, but, you know... That's just how, how I feel. Um, I mean, other than that, I'm going to have to try and pick a different time slot. Um, but this one's the one that suits me. Suits me a bit better. As I say, Friday is Friday's my day off from work so I can do it. And, you know, at the weekend I've, I've got children. So other than that, I'll have to try an evening slot and um, see if that's any better. See if I get any better response from that. Because um, obviously I've, I've got over 400 subscribers. And nobody's coming on a live stream. Which is very strange, but never mind. Um, Light Cerulean Blue. PC904. I know people do have lives and they don't all set, always sit and wait with bated breath for live streams. Um... But it's just quite disheartening. I'm trying to build up a build up a lovely channel where everybody can chat and have fun and but like you say though, it's life life first. I know life's adulting's horrendous. I hate it. Um but we shall see what happens. We'll carry on with it and see what happens. So yeah, so I've been, I've actually been feeling fairly grotty this week, to be perfectly honest, in general. Like I say, after having my second um, COVID vaccination last Friday, um, I've been really feeling really yuck. Um... I just couldn't, could hardly move on Saturday. Just didn't want to get out of my bed whatsoever. Um, but I knew I had things to do. So I had to get up and go do them. Um, and then, to my utter annoyance, um, after I'd done two... Um, full loads of washing and hung it out to try um, my neighbour one of my neighbours in their ultimate wisdom decided to um, have a gathering in the back garden um, whilst watching the football, whatever football was on the TV and the um, Lit a log fire thing um, to stay warm. So, needless to say, my washing was absolutely stinking of smoke. Two full loads of washing, and needless to say, I was hopping mad, to put it mildly, because um, it took me all my time and energy. To get 
the washing done and get it hung out because obviously I was feeling grot. Um, I was rough. So, like I say, needless to say, I was very, very vexed and annoyed. So, <laughs> um, and then of course my washing machine's making funny noises. Um, I did some more washing yesterday. Um, and the noises got even worse, so I had to actually turn it off because it was it was frightening me. I really thought it was gonna go bang any minute. So, um, but thankfully I have got a cover plan in place. So I phoned, I phoned to get an engineer out um, to come and fix it. Um, unfortunately, it can't come until Wednesday. So thankfully, I hopefully you know I'm glad I did that load yesterday, because obviously there's <laughs> clean pants for everybody. <laughs> Make sure everybody's got lots of clean pants up until Wednesday. So like I say, I just have to make sure. But my mum has offered to let us use her washing machine, so thank you, mum. Um, and it's my mum's birthday today. Oh, sorry, I'm off camera here. I'm uh, and rambling on there, not watching what I'm doing. Sorry. Do apologise. Yeah. So, and if my mum's watching, happy birthday, mum. It's her birthday today. So we're not going to be able to go and see her today, though. Um, I'm busy, busy, um, but we're planning on going to going to pop down, pop and see her tomorrow. So I've wished a happy birthday this morning anyway. So but it's still morning, isn't it yet? <laughs> There we go. In fact, I think I'll. Sorry. There we go. That's a bit better. I can get all the bow in shot now. <laughs> That's a bit better. So that was light cerulean blue. Now I'm going to go in with true blue 903. Looks as though it's brightening it up a little bit, which is what I want. I want it to look nice and bright and fun. Okay, I'm just going into these darker areas. Darkening the creases up. And then I'll blend it all together again and then we'll do the we'll get the spots done. Like 
So I'm hoping to hoping to finish her off on stream today. How long have I been on? Oh, an hour. I think I can. I've got another hour in me. I think, or however long it takes to get her finished. So what's everybody, everybody else colouring anything nice? Um, I've also finished the koalas, I've finished Kirby's koalas as well. So I'm actually not doing too bad um, what I put in my colouring bag, I'm actually managing to get get through it um fairly much what i wanted to do the only i've not touched i think there's two books out of it i haven't touched yet um and another i think another book snuck into the bag um so i have done an extra one then one more extra than i was actually planning so Um, so far anyway, and I think I've got a couple more books, um, sitting in my bag that I haven't, haven't worked in yet, so I'll maybe not get to both of them, um, because it's the, was it the 23rd today, I've only got another seven more days of April, um, and I don't think I'll do, I'll be able to finish an image out of both books in seven days. No, sorry, tell a lie, there's three books that I haven't touched that I was going to, um, I'll probably maybe get to two, because one of them's not a really, one of them's not a, What's the word? It's it's not going to be very time consuming, I don't think. If I get the the colours spot on, what I want to do, if I work out my colours, colour scheme and my palette, um, I should be able just to do that one. That one quite quickly, um, but the other books um, are going to take a lot longer. But I don't think I'll get round to, to both of them. Um, to all three of them, should I say. Um, and now we'll go back in with... Sorry, um, camera's wobbling there. Go back in again with the light. Cerulean blue, 904. Just to blend some of that harshness out of there. Um, as you can see, I'm not pressing really hard with it. I'm moving you all out of camera again. Oh, you can tell I'm not used to doing this, couldn't you? I need actually need a bit of a darker blue. Um, I think. I'll maybe get 
cerulean blue out. Excuse me one second. A bit normal cerulean blue. Oh. There we go. Cerulean blue PC103. Just to deepen. Deepen that up a little bit. Those three colours are quite similar. I'll deepen it up with this. Just deepen up those creases a little bit. And again, we'll just do little flecks around the edges there, just to deepen that up a tiny bit as well. creases just get these creases a bit more prominent As well in the bows, deepen everything up there. I'm tinkering now, I'm tinkering, tinkering, tinkering. Do you like a bit of a tinker? Can't leave the mill alone. this bit up here
again, I'll just blend that all together again with the light cerulean blue 904. And that sure looks a little bit better. It's deepened it up ever so slightly. You can see the creases a bit better as well in the bow. A little too eager there. Then blend it in again with the electric blue PC ten forty. Just go all over there where you haven't been with the electric blue and then just blend that in. Try and get it nice and smooth, nice smooth blend. Obviously leaving some highlights in there as well. I have to have a wee wriggle about. I'm getting a little bit oh stiff. I'm not moved. So I think that's the blue done, so we shall go on to the spots and again we'll do the same colours, whoops, oh I'm not having much luck with this to tripod thing today am I? Um, So we'll go over with the, so I've got Yellow Shark Truths PC1004, I'll just go over, over the whole spots with this. And then I've got Ordinary Chartreuse PC989. And just deepen, deepen them up a little bit. Round the edges.
have a wee blend again just to take some of those the harshness away. Blend, blend, blend. Go in with a bit of the spring green PC focus PC nine one three again just going round on the outside, just giving it a bit more. I wonder if everybody's out enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> Probably. It's a beautiful day again. I'll be enjoying it later. We'll go and go and collect my daughter from school. Have a lovely walk. Lovely walk to school and a lovely walk home. It's in the sunshine. Plenty of vitamin D in your system. And then I'll just go, obviously, oh sorry, I'm shaking this camera again. I will go and put a bit of the Prussian green in these. So a very slight amount in these darker areas where these shadows are are going to be along these creases. Here, the very edge here. A little bit to add depth to some of these polka dots as well. And then I'll go and blend it all in again.
and it all in again with Chartreuse PC And then finally, I'll blend it out again with Yellow Chartreuse PC1004. That's kind of keeping the in the highlight in the in the polka dots which is what I'm wanting I think I want to pop a wee bit more blue and dark around here, I think. So I'll just pop a wee bit. Go back for the Cerulean, sorry, Cerulean Blue PC103. Put a bit more darkness down here. I think. So I think we shall call that done. That's her bow done anyway. Yeah, that'll be her bow done. So I'm looking wrong way, sorry. Everybody. Yeah, I think she's looking pretty, pretty fun and, pretty fun and funky now. Um, I've just got to decide, decide what to do with her eyebrows. I maybe put some, maybe do black grape. That would be good. Yeah, I'll do black grape. And then, so we've just got our eyebrows to do and then her t-shirt and then decide on what I'm doing with these funny little, um, these funny little things here. I don't know if they're bubbles or, um, just sugar highlights or something. I maybe need to put a wee bit of something in the background there to, um, Because there's bubbles there in the background, so we'll just go in and get our eyebrows done. PC nine. I'm not even in camera there. I'm at PC 
996 black grape and we'll get I'll put some of that on her on her eyebrows and it's very very dark purple but um, it will probably come out as black well, look black, although it is the, the very, very, very dark purple. And it just defines them a little bit, just brings them out a bit more. Um, I'll probably have to turn the page to do that one, I'm sorry. But I can get my flicking motion better that way. I do want to sort of keep them, try and keep the texture. So they're, they're a little bit more sort of defined now. So now I need to get her t-shirt done. So I think we shall give her, shall we give her a blue t-shirt to match her bow? Yeah, I think that'll be a, a good, good thing to do. So, again, I'll go in with these same blues again. So I've got... Electric blue and we'll just I'm just thinking about this now, I actually think she needs a little bit more glitter, so I think I shall do those with a silver, a silver gel pen, I think, and not the Posca. I was going to do it with the white, so I think I'll do those wee dots with silver, see, see how that turns out. And then we shall have a finish. And I've really enjoyed every minute of off camera again. I've really enjoyed every minute of colouring this this sassy sassy girly with her macaroons. Um from Nina, Nina Art. Um, as I say, all the details are in the description below, um, so you can go and buy this image from her Etsy store if you would like, along with lots of other fabulous images. Um, And then, what do we have? Light, light cerulean blue, PC 904. Again, 
just put pop a bit of shading in where you think it needs to go. a bit too much blue down at the bottom but we shall see because obviously I've got those other macarons there haven't I but the blue ones so I'm nearly there We will get her finished. I'll stay on as long as it takes. Um, I've been on an hour and a half now, so um, not not got much more to go. And then I'll go in with the wrong one. Sorry, I'll go in with the. True Blue PC903 Again, just going over the darker areas The shading Hold on, I'm just thinking, I've got less than half an hour and I'm expecting a phone call, so I'm going to have to hurry up because I have a feeling that if I do get the phone call then it'll cut, cut me off and I've got cerulean blue Again, just deepening up these areas So what I'll do then, once I've done this t-shirt, um, I think I will call it a stream and I'll go in and put the the gel pen um, accents in in my, in my own time and then I'm not getting thrown off when I get the phone call. Well, it'll just be my partner, he always phones me at one o'clock every day um, when, he's, when he's on his lunch at work. Um, I don't know why, but he always does. <laughs> it's just a habit he's got. Um, again, light, go in with the light cerulean blue, just to blend it out a little bit more. If I've got time, I'll do some of the some of the accents with you. Like I say, I don't want us to get. Get cut off mid midstream, which I I expect to happen if I do get a phone call. Although it's it's never happened before, but there's always a first time for everything, isn't there? So we'll blend that out. I might need to get actually get my blender on here. I've not done a very good job with my pencil blending, just using my pencils. I don't know, that's kind of smooshed out a little bit there. And then finally, 
lightest one which is the electric blue PC1040 and you can just go over the whole area blending in as you go quite a medium say medium to firm pressure because this will be the last layer to go down Another person's joined us. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, hi, Leslie. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Life first, honey. Unfortunately, I'm just about wrapping up um, soon. Um, I was just saying I'm expecting a phone call um, around about one o'clock. My partner always phones me for, from his work when he's on his lunch, um, and I don't want us. I don't want the stream to get cut off. But hopefully, we'll see how far I get before that happens. Um, oh yeah, it has. It's turned out absolutely. Gorgeous, if I do say so myself. Um, I'm really thankful. Where's my blender? I'm really thankful to to my friend for giving giving me the combo. Right, I'm just gonna go in with my Prisma blender one oh seven seven. Oh, that's very kind of you, Leslie. Thank you very much. So, how are you today? Are you doing all right? Ah, that's looking a bit better. I'll get my get my blending blending mode on. Do this side. Don't know what it is. Sometimes I can blend these pencils no problem, and then other times it's I need to, to use the blender. I must just be having a, an off day today, just to cap off my, my bad week. <laughs> oh. Friday evening, well it's coming up to lunch time here, one o'clock. Hi Ashley, how are you today? I'm not going to be on for much longer. Or oh, you're on your way into work. Oh, well, I'm not going to be on for much longer, to be honest. Um, I'm saying I'm planning to be off just, just before one, one o'clock. So I've got about another 15 minutes and then, because um, I'm expecting a phone call and I don't want it to kick us off the stream. Um, so I think, apart from... Apart from the, oops, sorry, fingers in the way there. Apart from the dot dotty bits, which I think I'm going to do purple, um, purple, as she says, silver gel pen. Um, I think that's her finished. I'll just need to dig out my silver gel pen. Yes, it is actually a lovely Friday, no worries. I'm glad it's nearly the end of the week, to be honest. I've had a bad week. 
been feeling grotty after having my second COVID vaccination last Friday and then just no end of things has gone wrong for me this week um, at home with things breaking and things not working so I've oh I've had a gut full of this week <laughs> to be honest oh thank you Ashley I had a bit of help from the Helen Elliston tutorial book um, with the macarons um, so thank you to Helen Elliston as well <laughs> um, thank you Leslie so now I'm just going to go in with the Uniball Signal sparkling silver and hopefully this will work if it doesn't I'm going to have to revert back to the Posca but I don't know if that's showing up very well. I'm just I'm trying to zoom you in a little I'm trying to zoom you in a little bit again just so you can see what I'm doing. I'll do it I'll try and do it on our face. I don't know if this silver's showing up at all. Um I'm just obviously we're Rena's put these little dots. I'm just going in with a silver gel pen. I don't know if is that showing up. Oh, a teeny bit. It's obviously not as. It won't be as prominent as the white. But. Oh, I know Ashley. I was rough. Well, still not right. Um aching in places I didn't know I had places to ache um no energy at all just oh just feeling feeling really sorry for myself oh everybody will have different reactions Leslie I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about it too much you might be totally different because my my mum had hers and it just made her go to sleep. She she just felt really sleepy um, after her first one, so she she had an early night, and she was she was fine after that. Oh, I know. Um, yeah, I'm the same, Ashley. Um, I'm glad I I got it done. Um, I I would dread to think what the alternative would be, um, if I did happen to um contract the actual corona the covid um so yeah i wouldn't like i say i wouldn't want to yeah no australia's not been not been that bad has it leslie i don't think I think we're quietening down a lot here as well now. Um, it's saying the the pandemic's over, but it's still it's not as virulent as it was. I think it's slowing down now. But mind you, I think people are still. Um, I don't know, some people aren't being very cautious, they're still um, wanting out in the in the groups, in the pubs and things, so oh, there we go sparkly although I'm not rushing out to, to go anywhere like I say, the, the most I go out is to the get the groceries each week and that's it So yeah, so I think this silver is going to work on the rest of the, the picture. So I've got bits in her hair here. Well, just hoping I can get this done. I don't want to rush it, but I'm expecting this phone call very, very shortly from my other half. 
to talk about nothing on his lunch break. What am at it again? I'm putting blobs in them, not on the camera. trying to bring you there we go oh yes that's coming on that's showing up isn't it i think i'll only get a chance to do half of this today i don't think i'll get a chance to put all these silver bits in with you on camera on the stream I'm going to have to go. I have to go shortly. I do appreciate everybody for coming in. Lurkers and chatters. So thank you very much for joining me this morning. Hopefully, we shall meet up again next week. And I shall have a different a different picture for you next week. Um, I don't know what, but I haven't decided. I might just be carrying on with another with one of my whips, I think. Um so like I say I've got three bag three books in my bag um that I chose for sorry, just turning um that I chose for April. I've got three books that I haven't touched in there yet. Um I don't know if I'll get round to doing anything. Oh bye Leslie. Take care. Have a nice rest of your day. I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks for popping in. I think the silver's looking good. Oh, missed some in here there. I don't know if this is supposed to be like powdered sugar or something that's come off the macaroons. Well, it's just little highlights.
So again, just got the couple to do up the top here. And then I'll be calling that a stream. She's all finished. And I think she just looks so full of fun. There, she's all done. She just looks so full of fun, doesn't she? Well, I think she does anyway. And hopefully those silver, oh yeah, the silvers. The silver sparkling away there. So that's me for today, everybody. So again, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, Ashley, Leslie, um, who's been in the chat, and anybody else that's been lurking away in the background, I still love you, still love my lurkers. So um, bye, everyone. I'll catch you again next week. Um, we shall have a different, a different picture next week. Um, I'm not sure what it looks going to be, but um, absolutely love her. I think she looks so fun. So, yeah, bye everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you again next week, hopefully. Bye for now. Bye.